What's up guys, I'm BTC. We just got a surprise patch on the PTR, which has some pretty massive nerfs to a bunch of characters and a very weird, unexpected buff to McCree. We'll get to that in just a second. We're gonna start with Hanzo. So his nerf is that the damage on the storm arrows was reduced from 70 down to 60. So this is just, you know, a obviously a big flat nerf to the character. This is going to particularly be bad against characters like Winston and D.Va who will dive in on the Hanzo. I mean, it's good for them, it's bad for Hanzo, but this just means that his burst potential on the larger targets that are closer up is going to be a lot less. So, a pretty decent sized nerf to Hanzo. Moving on, McCree got one of the most interesting and unexpected changes that I've seen in quite a while. Let me just show you. They increased his health from 200 to 250. I'm not really certain why they did this. And, you know, for a very since the game has been released, 200 hit points has been pretty much the standard for DPS and support. Yeah, there's a couple of exceptions, but it's been pretty much standard at 200. And it looks like Blizzard is now willing to kind of change that up a little bit. And they're going to start messing around with the health of maybe more characters. Who knows? But I do think it's kind of funny that a lot of people have been asking for a health boost for Symmetra because she's a close range character. And instead they gave it to McCree who has probably the best close range combo in the entire game, but you know, whatever. So he did get some other changes in addition to the health, the primary fire for his attack, the recovery time was increased from 0.42 seconds up to 0.5 seconds. So this means there is a slightly longer delay in each of the attacks. This is going to overall lower his potential DPS. And, you know, this actually does kind of make him a little bit more of a close quarters kind of character, right? They give him the extra health and he has this unbelievably good combo and, you know, the fan, the hammer and stuff. So it kind of looks like they're actually moving McCree more towards being you know, a McRight click kind of deal, right? Like that sort of deal. I don't know if that's really the best direction to go for either the character or the game, because, I mean, shouldn't the whole thing be about increasing the skill potential of the character? Now, at longer range, you tend to kind of have a little bit more of a delay between your attacks anyways, but, I mean, it's definitely a nerf to his damage. They also changed something which is kind of weird, and I gotta show it to you. So. They made it so that firing Deadeye no longer locks the player's aim. Let me show you this here. So what you do is you activate it, and then you can now move around a little bit more, it seems. I don't know if that's really great or not. I mean, I don't know. It's it's a weird change. Good thing I got that 250 hit points. <laughs> Next up is Reaper. I know a lot of people in the lower bracket are going to be happy to see this one. The healing amount from his passive was reduced from 40% down to 30%. This puts it right where it was before the GOAT comp changes. So during GOAT comp, they increased the healing passive from 30% up to 50% in an attempt to make Reaper a little bit better versus all of the tanks and the GOATS comp. Of course, this was a complete failure. It did absolutely nothing against GOATS comp, which I got to toot my own horn in this one, I predicted. You know, if I was in the office when they, you know, proposed this, hey, how about we raise a Reaper's passive from 30% to 50% in order to counter GOATS comp? I mean, I could have just been there at the end of the table, raised my hand and said, yeah, that's not going to work. And at the same time, it's going to make life in the lower bracket an absolute nightmare. How about we don't do that? Uh, but they did it anyways. And as it turns out, yeah, it didn't help goats. But uh, it made life in the lower bracket a nightmare. And they nerfed it later on down to 40%. And now they're nerfing it once more back to the 30% that it originally was. So, took a while, but we're back to square one. Oh yeah, and Shadow Step is still garbage. Next up is Orissa, who is just getting absolutely clobbered with the nerf bat in all of these patches here. So her primary attack, the damage was reduced from 11 down to 9 per. So that is a pretty substantial damage nerf to Orissa. Next, her fortify, the cooldown was increased from 8 seconds to 10 seconds. And I believe it was... In one of the just recent patches, they had lowered it in order to kind of compensate for how bad the barrier is. But 
you know, they're kind of reverting that and they're putting it back up to where Fortify now has a 10 second cooldown. And then the Halt ability has also been nerfed. They've made it so that the snare duration was reduced from one second down to 0.65 seconds. So this just means that you have, you know, not, not quite half a second, but uh, a little bit less time in order to kind of do all the stuff that you need to do. Whatever kind of combo you're working with a Roadhog or, you know, Doomfist or whatever is that's going on. So it just means that that snare time, the players are going to be able to recover a little bit faster than before and escape. So kind of a CC nerf as well. Next up is Sigma, who also got absolutely clobbered with the nerf bat. So the first thing is the hyperspheres. The range was reduced from 22 down to 20 meters. This doesn't reduce the damage of it, but it does reduce his damage potential, which is pretty significant. Next is the Gravitic Flux. It can now be interrupted before the targets start falling. So how it works on the live version of the game is you activate the ability, you fly into the air, then you click on the ground. As soon as you click on the ground, whoever gets caught in that will get slammed down again. There's no way to stop it. You can take out the Sigma, you can put them to sleep, stun them, whatever. If they get thrown into the air, then they are going to take that 50% health damage, all that other stuff. But now, how it works is you activate the ability, you throw them into the air, and there's this pausing effect before they get slammed down. So what can now happen is there's extra time to interrupt that ultimate. So as long as they haven't started getting thrown into the ground yet, then it can still be interrupted. So they'll be floating in the air, you interrupt it, and then they just kind of fall to the ground relatively unharmed. I mean, they're still going to take the initial damage and all that sort of stuff. Another thing is that the impact slow duration was reduced from 0.9 to 0.6 seconds. So again, this does seem to go in line with some of the other crowd control changes they've made with May and Orisa, where the slowing effects are now wearing off faster to give you more control of your character quicker. And then another thing, because there aren't enough nerfs to, to, to Sigma, the accretion explosion damage was reduced from 60 down to 40. Now, these training bots have 200 hit points. I want to show you what that means, that nerf. 60 down to 40 now means you can no longer combo 200 hit point targets. If you're close enough, yeah, you could, you know, hit them with a quick melee or something. But it is now not going to be possible to simply use the accretion and then follow up with two hyperspheres in order to take out that target. So these are, again, massive, massive nerfs to Sigma. At this point, I don't know. I feel like they should just kind of, I don't want to say rework the character, but it, it almost feels like they might need to. Like, Sigma is... He's got too much stuff going on, basically, is, is the deal. He's got too much stuff going on. And in order to make him balance, they just have to keep nerfing everything into the ground. And I think just kind of changing some stuff would be a better solution for it. Next is Baptiste. He got yet more nerfs. The first is to the Biotic Launcher, his primary fire. The recovery time was increased from 0.36 to 0.45 so similar to what they did with McCree where they increased the delay between each attack so what this does you can see you now there's a noticeable delay before each attack now this doesn't change his individual damage so if you just look at somebody and, and you hit them then it's still gonna be the same damage but his damage over time the total DPS that he's now able to do is going to go down by a pretty decent amount I don't have the math done right now to figure out exactly what his DPS is going to change to, but that recovery time means that, for example, if you're trying to attack a barrier and you're just holding down left click on the barrier, it's now going to take a good deal longer because there's a bigger recovery time in between each of those attacks. I think this is actually kind of an interesting way for them to deal with Baptiste's damage, where he can still do a good amount of damage if you have good aim, but his total damage over time has been brought down. It's kind of an interesting thing. Next is his Biotic Launcher, the secondary fire, which is the healing. The heal explosion was reduced from 60 down to 50. So this is another pretty substantial nerf. Just means that overall his healing has gone down by quite a bit. 
10 per is a, a good amount. That's a lot less healing. So what we can see here very clearly is that Blizzard is trying to, again, nerf the characters that are currently in the meta, right? You've got Orisa with the halt, the damage, and the fortify being very powerful. You also have Sigma, who is still getting used a decent amount, and uh, Hanzo, obviously. Uh, I believe Hanzo is the number one DPS pick right now, and, you know, it's kind of weird that there's no buffs for Soldier, right? And it's, it's kind of weird that they buffed McCree, who actually is getting a decent amount of use right now, right? Like, he actually has, I, I think, it's not quite middle of the road pick rate, but it's a little bit above, right? So I think the, the three main DPS right now are in order, I believe it's Hanzo, then Widow, then McCree. I would have to go and double check, but I think that's the order for the top DPS at this particular moment. And it just seems weird that they would, you know, kind of give him, I mean, they gave him some nerfs too, but 250 health. That is a, that's huge. And like, Soldier still doesn't have anything. Bastion still is sitting at his 0% pick rate. I don't know, guys. These are some pretty big changes, and I think that we might actually start to expect this sort of stuff happening quite often because, uh, you know, Jeff Kaplan did say that they want to have much more frequent updates, more constant uh, changes to the meta, shifting it more often. And if they're making changes, like, let's say, every two weeks or every three weeks, then that's definitely going to have an impact that's going to speed things up. We don't know what other changes. We're going to wait for the dev update, which is supposed to happen sometime next week. But what do you guys think about these changes? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. You can get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media with the links down in the description below. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters, and remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.